What you think, buddy? You are so stinking cute. This is the start of week three with my BLM Mustang Stitch, who's my draw for the 2021 Virtual Kentucky Extreme Mustang Makeover. Day 15, he got the day off, and we kind of just hung out together and spent some time on the ground. He had a long week the week prior, doing some traveling back to Florida and then back to Mississippi. So this was just a fun way for us to spend some time together and for me to just love on him and for him to just get some downtime. The footage from day 16 is super blurry and I'm so sorry for that but I did want to share this with you guys because this is a big milestone for a young horse in their training. This was Stitch's very first ride with the snaffle bit. I had been riding him in the rope hodler prior to this um, and I had spent a few days desensitizing him or exposing him to the bit and then I would ride him in the rope halter with the bit over that. So he still had the rope halter with the reins on, but the bit was there for him to get comfortable with. And this was his very first ride where he had the reins actually attached to the bit. So what I'm doing is I'm just riding him around and doing some very basic work, trotting him around, stopping, steering, all that basic stuff, just to get him used to the pressure. And then we're gonna go ahead and do some desensitizing. This is his first time riding with the American flag. I had done some groundwork with it and desensitized him on the ground because I usually do that before I do anything under saddle. I'll just quickly show it to them on the ground. Cause give me that soccer ball. This is from day 17 and I did not get the greatest footage from this experience but I think it was the coolest thing ever to experience with this Mustang so new to being gentled. We went to the local racetrack and I was able to canter him down the racetrack a few times and it was an awesome experience. It was pretty dark um, and it was a little bit sketchy but we had a lot of fun. That other Mustang running with him is the other Mustang Tarzan who was picked up at the same time and they've been through this entire journey together. This is going to be really scary. I'm just going to make him canter a little bit just all day. You know, I'd be perfectly content with just doing a nice little lope. I don't trust him not to just like completely fall on his face because he's so clumsy. <laughs> Scary people. Good boy. Good job. Go oh, stitch. Turn around. Come here. Such a good boy. Such a good boy. 
<laughs> you gotta wait your turn. You gotta wait your turn. It's really tight in there. It is. They're tiny people. Good boy. Good job. You gotta aim for the middle, buddy. You're not aiming for the middle. You're gonna run me into the wall. There you go. Straight on. Oh, straight on. You're okay. He was willing to walk through it, but he just wants to like run me into the wall. Yeah, you're gonna take my leg off. I know, buddy. Good boy. Can't spend too much time on this. Walk on through. You're gonna take my leg off. There you go. Oh, ow. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. You just about cut my leg in half, buddy. Thank you for that. It's okay. Wobbly, wobbly. There you go. Good boy. Don't get excited. Good boy. Don't spook at the people up here. You're okay. Boy. You're okay. You're already leading. Oh god. Oh god. No, no, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Day 18, Stitch was finally safe enough for the vet to come in and give him a float for his teeth. While this does look pretty scary, I promise it's not dramatizing, it's not bad, it's just part of basic horse care. It's what's necessary to take care of their teeth. If their teeth get too sharp, it can dig into their cheeks and cause problems for them, and there's so many different ways that it can affect them. So it's really important that you can get them floated and get their teeth straightened out and get everything taken care of, as well as any wolf teeth taken out, which will interfere with training in a bit. Um, so this is just a necessary experience. It just looks scary. It's not. He's sedated, so he's not really um, awake for this. As you can see afterwards, he was super sleepy, and he was just not with us, but he handled all of it great. Sedation kicks Stitch's butt. This was a fun night. This was our first bareback ride. Right here I'm just desensitizing him to my legs touching him and rubbing on his body. Um, some horses get re really freaked out by that, but he didn't really care too much. Um, so the next two videos are going to be a little bit chaotic. It's just from our first bareback ride, and it was just a fun uh, playing night for all of us with our horses. So our next adventure on day 20 was just hauling to a friend's local arena um, where everyone else was roping and I kind of just rode Stitch around, got him used to all the chaos. He really was buddy sour a little bit that night and wanted to keep going back to his Mustang friend. But it was a great opportunity for him to get used to riding in a different arena with a lot of energy, a lot of chaos going on um, and it was just really good exposure for him.
try to get some of this for the video. Um, they just don't even care. Like, whatever. Day 21 was another adventure and we went to a sorting practice which was a ton of fun. I do not claim to be anything fancy with cows. I have no idea what I'm doing but it was just fun for him. It was fun for me um, and we got to push cows around. There was a loudspeaker. There were probably like close to 100 horses and riders around so this was a really awesome event to go to and it was a ton of fun. Those horses have only been ridden a very short time. Next team in the arena, Troy and Vicky, followed by Amanda and Dawn, and then a hurt change. Troy and Vicky.